Fontaine International is vitally concerned about the safety of our customers and the performance of our products. That's why we are continually improving the Fontaine TechLock system, which includes our 5092, 6000, and new 7000 series fifth wheels and mounting brackets. When you experience the patented safety features and performance advantages of our TechLock system, you will understand how we earn our reputation as the premier supplier of fifth wheels worldwide. In fact, the Fontaine No Slack 2 is the most technologically advanced locking mechanism in the world. In these next few minutes, we will show you the proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures. Before we begin, let's take a look inside a Fontaine fifth wheel No Slack 2 locking system and see what happens when the trailer kingpin engages the lock. When the release handle is extended, the throat of the fifth wheel is open and ready to receive the kingpin. As the kingpin moves into the throat of the fifth wheel, it engages the safety trigger and the jaw and wedge move in behind the kingpin to lock it into place. This patented No Slack 2 locking mechanism is the only design in the world that automatically adjusts for kingpin wear. One of the most common coupling problems is false coupling or high hitching. The Fontaine Tech Lock system incorporates a safety trigger that allows the fifth wheel to be engaged only if the kingpin is in the correct position. This patented design eliminates false coupling and dangerous high hitching. For added safety, a secondary lock is automatically engaged and can only be disengaged by pulling the release handle. Now that we have an understanding of the internal workings of the Fontaine No Slack 2, let's turn our attention to proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures. Begin with a visual inspection to check for damaged or missing parts. The fifth wheel must be securely fastened to the tractor. Pay close attention to welds and areas around bolt holes. Make sure there are no cracks or missing bolts. The top plate surface should be covered with a liberal coating of grease. Improper lubrication could cause steering problems. If you are using a sliding fifth wheel, be sure the slide locks are fully engaged. Make sure the fifth wheel is in the proper position tilted down in the rear and resting on the stops. Make sure the area around the vehicle is level, clear of obstacles, and that the trailer wheels are chocked or the spring brakes are engaged. If the trailer is loaded, the cargo must be secured. The fifth wheel must be in the open position before coupling. If the fifth wheel is closed, pull the handle straight out until the locking mechanism is disengaged. Drivers prefer Fontaine because the release handle is easy to pull. When the handle is extended, the fifth wheel is in the open position and the jaw and wedge do not block the throat of the fifth wheel. Now, inspect the trailer kingpin and kingpin plate for damage and proper lubrication. Make sure the trailer kingpin is not bent or broken. Now is the time to position the tractor in front of the trailer. Never back under the trailer at an angle because you might push the trailer sideways and break the landing gear. Using the outside mirrors, check your position by looking down both sides of the trailer. Back slowly and stop just before making contact with the trailer. Do not hit the trailer. If you back up too fast, you could cause substantial damage to the trailer and the tractor. Secure the tractor by engaging the parking brake and placing the transmission in neutral. One of the most common mistakes drivers make is attempting to couple with the wrong trailer kingpin height. Proper kingpin to fifth wheel alignment is crucial to avoid damage to the trailer, kingpin, kingpin plate, fifth wheel, and the entire tractor frame, not to mention the driver. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not strike the safety trigger and could miss the fifth wheel altogether. If the trailer is too low, you could easily damage the fifth wheel and the trailer. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, make sure the system is inflated before making trailer height adjustments. Never inflate the tractor air ride suspension when the trailer kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel. This is a sure way to damage the fifth wheel and the kingpin. To establish proper coupling height, raise or lower the trailer by adjusting the landing legs. When the tractor and trailer are properly aligned, the leading edge of the trailer strikes the upper portion of the approach ramps. Now connect the electrical and air lines to the trailer. Make sure all lines are safely supported where they won't be crushed or caught while the tractor is backing under the trailer. 
use the lowest reverse gear and slowly back the tractor. The trailer will lift slightly and you will hear a distinctive sound as the kingpin engages the fifth wheel. Avoid hitting the kingpin too hard. It only requires 30 pounds of pressure to couple a Fontaine No Slack 2 fifth wheel. Raise the trailer landing gear slightly off the ground and perform the tug test. While the trailer brakes are still locked, put the tractor in low and ease out on the clutch just enough to feel the resistance of the load. If the coupling feels secure, place the transmission in neutral, engage the parking brake and shut off the engine. Now perform a visual inspection. First, check to make sure the pull handle is retracted to within one inch of the fifth wheel skirt. Use a flashlight if necessary and go under the trailer and look into the back of the throat of the fifth wheel. The locking mechanism should be engaged, securing the kingpin around the two inch shank. There should be no space between the fifth wheel and the kingpin plate on the trailer. This is a good time to check the air lines and electrical lines for signs of damage. Make sure they will not hit any moving parts of the vehicle. Now that the trailer coupling is complete, you may need to relocate your fifth wheel for better weight distribution. Make the necessary adjustments by following the Fontaine fifth wheel sliding procedure. Start by locking the trailer brakes. If your fifth wheel has an air slide release, set the cab control valve in the unlock position. If it has a manual release, pull the release lever and drop it behind the catch. Visually check to make sure that both locking wedges have released. Pressure on the locking wedges can be relieved by lowering the landing legs. This also allows the fifth wheel to slide with greater ease. Now, move the tractor forward or backward slowly to position the fifth wheel. Once the proper position has been acquired, set the cab control valve lever in the off and lock position. If you have a manual release, trip the release lever. Finally, make a visual check to see that both locking wedges are fully engaged in the slide rail castings. Now, fully raise the landing legs and secure the crank handle. Under no condition should you operate the vehicle unless the locking wedges are fully engaged and the landing legs are fully retracted, as this can damage the tractor, the trailer, and the landing legs. Finally, check to make sure there is proper clearance between the top of the tractor tires and the bottom of the trailer before driving the vehicle. This successfully completes the proper coupling procedure. Your vehicle is now ready for the road. One clear advantage with Fontaine is the patented jaw and wedge locking system. This is the only design on the market that eliminates slack automatically. Therefore, if you detect slack as you operate your vehicle, report this as soon as possible to your maintenance department. Now let's turn our attention to the proper uncoupling procedure. First, make sure your tractor is aligned with the trailer on a flat level surface that can support the trailer and its contents. This is important because pulling out at an angle can damage the landing gear. Lock the trailer brakes and back slowly to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaw. Now engage the parking brake while the tractor is pushing against the kingpin. This will help you release the fifth wheel locking lever. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, do not deflate prior to uncoupling. Doing so will make the fifth wheel very difficult to uncouple and could actually damage the fifth wheel and kingpin. Next, chock the trailer wheels and lower the landing legs. If you have poor ground conditions, it may be necessary to provide a base for the landing legs. If you have an air ride suspension, lower the landing legs until they touch the ground and then add one additional turn. If you have a spring suspension, give a few extra turns in low gear. Do not raise the trailer off the fifth wheel. Disconnect the electrical and air lines and secure them to the tractor. Next, unlock the fifth wheel by pulling straight out on the release handle until the locking mechanism is securely locked in the open position. If the fifth wheel is difficult to open, it may be due to a tight or unlubricated wedge. This can be remedied by striking the spring-loaded wedge stop rod with a hammer. If the problem persists, report it to your maintenance department. Now, ease the tractor forward until the fifth wheel comes out from under the trailer. Let the trailer slowly slide down the fifth wheel approach ramps. If your vehicle is equipped with air ride suspension, this will allow the necessary time for it to adjust to the unloaded height. Stop with the tractor frame still under the trailer. This prevents the trailer from falling if the landing gear fails or sinks into the ground. Now engage the parking brake and place the transmission in neutral. 
Inspect to make sure the ground is properly supporting the trailer landing gear. Release the parking brake and slowly pull out from under the trailer. Remember, by following the proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures, you can count on Fontaine fifth wheels to give you safe, dependable performance mile after mile.